these two models that we have discussed uh, is that constant income model and the constant growth uh, model that is uh, Gordon growth model uh, you can see what we are doing here uh, these are the uh, models which are applicable uh, in case of income capitalization methods but uh, under the income approach uh, of valuation there are two methods method number one is the income capitalization in came income capitalization what do you do you take the income and you capitalize it by your cost of capital and now we understand very clearly cost yes, of sir. capital also means the required rate of return cost yes, of sir. capital also means the minimum rate of return cost yes, of sir. capital also means the expected rate of return and yes, so on and so forth yes. uh, the second method of uh, yes, under the income capital income approach is a discounted cash flow method so please understand the subtle difference between the income capitalization and the discounted cash flow the subtle difference between the income uh, capitalization and the discounted cash flow method is in case of income capitalization you take into account the past income uh, and based on that you do you find out the valuation as we have seen yes. right in case of yes. discounted cash flow method what you do you take the projected income so this is the major difference between major and a very subtle difference between the income capitalization and the discounted cash flow method so in case of discounted cash flow method what you do you project the cash flow of the company for future and discount that cash flow by your rate of return or your expected rate of return or of your cost of capital by whatever name you may call it and when you find out the present value of all the future cash flows total them together and the total that you are arriving at that is supposed to be your value of the business right so that is that is what is your discounted cash flow method yes. now let us look at uh, the models which are available for finding out value of a business based on the discounted cash flow method so the uh, as you can see on your screen valuation of an entity with infinite life using discounted cash flow now i'm sure uh, you can very easily understand that in case of a business nobody on this earth starts a business with an aim and objective that he will run that business for one year and then close it after that nobody starts business with that intention everyone on this earth starts a business with an intent that he would start the business run it make profit grow it leave it behind for his children and let the children grow it and then children will leave that business for their children and like that actually so and that is that is uh, that means what that means a business has got a infinite life perfectly fine but there is a problem so what is the problem the problem is if a business has an infinite life and if you want to use the discounted cash flow method for finding value of that business how do you find out how do you project it project the cash flow for infinity you can't do it because you go on go on you know projecting use excel sheet or whatever you want at one point your excel sheet also will 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 be will will not will have no columns but infinity would continue okay and that is the challenge which we have to understand in using the discounted cash flow method to overcome this challenge yes. to overcome this challenge there is a method which is known as a two stage two stage discounting model a two stage discounting model and what the two stage discounting model is we will understand but theoretically let us first understand the uh, discounted cash flow method uh, to be used in case of infinite life if, as you can see on your screen if you have to if you have to use the discounted cash flow model for finding out value of a business which has got infinite life how would it uh, look like that formula so you will need to take the cash flow for the year 1 and year 2 and then keep on finding out the cash flows till infinity and then of course keep on dividing all those cash flows or keep on discounting all those cash flows with the discounting factor 
So uh, in case of the first year, it is going to give you one, one plus cost of capital. In case of second year, it is going to give you one plus cost of capital raised to two, raised to three and like that. And then uh, total up all the present values and then you will get the, uh, pres the value of that business which is supposed to be having the infinite life. And I'm sure you can very easily understand the challenge in case of the in case of finding out valuation for a business which is having an infinite life yes. because if a business had an inf if a business if the businesses had finite life then using discounting cash flow model was very easy because a business has got a life of 10 years for the 10 years you find out the cash flow discount the 10 years cash flow by the by the discounting factor total it up for 10 years and then you will get the value of that business uh, or which is having a life of 10 years. But in practical life, it does not happen. In practical life, the businesses have uh, a life which is infinite, uh, which is infinite. So to overcome this challenge, to overcome this challenge, you have a two stage discounting model, two stage discounting model. And how does it work? Let us uh, uh, see it in the next slide.